Bob Kafaro here, and I want to follow up on a video I posted yesterday. Uh, I got a lot of responses about it, a lot of questions, and this had to do with the article in the BBC about the 82-year-old man who had the immune system of a 20-year-old, and of course this 82-year-old man was an avid cyclist, long-distance cyclist, and I'd like to follow up one of the questions someone asks is, why does exercise like that strengthen and keep the immune system as if you were 20 years old? And the answer is T cells. T cells are you know, vital for fighting off infection and keeping the immune system strong. That's how you would measure one's immune system. And the T cells are produced by the thymus, which is a gland in the chest. And the older we get, the less T cells are produced because we tend to become inactive. And of course, the human body was meant to be active. We were meant to move. And when we stop moving, we go against what our bodies were designed for and we weaken our immune systems. So it's not really necessary to do this marathon running or, you know, 100 mile bike rides, just as long as you exercise on a daily basis when you get your, your respiratory system, your central nervous system going and this really, I think yoga is one of the best ways to do this in addition to cycling. So to build an immune system and to keep it strong, it's not just exercise there. I think living on an organic plant-based diet is very good for your cells that will help produce T cells. And also um, hydration, very important drinking good quality water, not you know water from the plastic bottles or water with chlorine or chloramine, which is a mix of chlorine and ammonia. You know, I personally use reverse osmosis water, so I drink a very pure grade of water, and that's important with the amount of water I drink, right? At 160 pounds, I drink 80 ounces of water a day. So if you're ingesting a lot of chlorine or chloramine, what's that gonna do to your cells? So I think these things are really important. Have a, you know, a regular exercise, yoga, deep breathing, Cycling, which is great for the central nervous system, eating an organic plant-based diet, uh, intermittent fasting, and low-calorie diet, and also you know all, all these all these things come together, and they will really keep your body healthy, keep your immune system strong, and also you'll slow the aging process down. Don't do all the bad things we're supposed to, you know, junk food, alcohol, cigarettes. You know, think of these things. What we do to our bodies, so. That's the answer. Keep your immune system strong. Eat a healthy plant-based diet. Drink pure water. Exercise every day. If you like my videos, please remember to share, subscribe, and like. Thanks so much for being with me.